Got an email from Jeff here in the Denver area, and it sounds like Jeff's having a little bit of trouble with his sense getting started. So instead of me being a <laughs> tech support for you, why don't I just answer that question in a video format? Because if you're asking the question, chances are somebody else is too. All right, Jeff, to begin, just go over to your devices tab and any device that you want to rename or use, we're just going to go through every option that you can do with your devices and hopefully that helps you out. So if we head over to our devices tab and uh, find something that we don't want, this, uh, I had some construction done on my house a couple of years back and I never cleaned this up. If you uh, click on the little cog, you can delete a device. And let's say that this device was actually part of something else. You can click on that same cog and you can merge it with whatever device it's a part of. Sometimes it's going to identify different components inside, let's say a fridge, for example. My fridge, it identified three different uh, components. One was the motor, one was the uh, defrost cycle, and I think the other one was like uh, the fan. Anyway, you can merge them all to be part of the same device. So that's how you do that. If you want to rename it at this point, you just rename it here, whatever you want to call it. And when you're done naming it, just click on close. You could turn it to whatever it is and click on close and save the changes when you're done. This device, I know it's junk, so I'm just going to delete it while I'm here. But that gives you a couple of options to manage your devices as well. Hopefully that answers all your questions, Jeff. And uh, best of luck if you still have other questions pertaining to devices or anybody else that's watching this video. If you have any sense questions, feel free to leave them down below. And if I can make a video on it, I will do so to help out the rest.